Hello, welcome to this demonstration of OpSwat's Meta Defender for Secure Storage. Many organizations are moving to cloud infrastructure. As part of that move to cloud infrastructure, such as AWS, for this particular demonstration, you'll be moving data from your local SAN or NAS to the cloud. With this move, you want to ensure the integrity and efficacy of those files being moved. With OpSwat's Meta Defender for Secure Storage, not only can we help you out with the onerous task of figuring out how to get all that data up to your new cloud storage, but we can also make sure the efficacy of those files that are being sent with OpSwat's multi-scanning technology. For this particular demonstration, I have set up a local SMB storage, which if we look at our storage units here, you can see that we have an SMB stored here at 201 slash MDSS. And likewise, we have a couple of AWS buckets with particular focus on the scan good and the scan bad for this particular demonstration. Likewise, we can go ahead and see those files that are ready to go. So we've got seven files right here on the SMB store, and we can see that scan bad and that scan good as part of our AWS buckets with a quick refresh that there is nothing inside of there. Now there are multiple ways of handling these particular items in that you have essentially about three different ways that you can get these started to scan. The first one is the real-time processing, which essentially is as files come in to that local storage, they will be immediately scanned and then moved up to your cloud provider depending on how they scan. Likewise, if we click on here, we can schedule a process. So essentially you can schedule a process on an hourly, daily, weekly, monthly basis to scan that storage. Any files that are in there will be scanned and moved into their appropriate buckets. Likewise, we can start an on-demand type scan, which is what we'll do in a second. But first, let's look at the remediation actions. So this is what determines where those files go. So from the SMB into our AWS buckets, and this is where we have, if a file is allowed and it's scanned good, then it will go into that scan good bucket. And if it's blocked, it'll go into the malicious files. And then we also have two other things checked here. So anything with a vulnerability or sensitive data will be considered bad and be moved into that blocked type uh, situation of malicious files. So in this case here, what we'll do is we will go ahead and start the process. We will give this a name and then click on start. And so we can see that a new process was successfully started. We can come up to the dashboard go into our SMB compatible dashboard, and we can see we do have an active process inside of there. As we click inside, we can see that the file processing is almost completed and that it has found those seven files that are our test files in this case. And we are almost finished with the processing of it. And once it does finish processing, we will be able to view the report that will be generated as part of these files being scanned. So here is the report. And I'll go ahead and include all seven items on one line or one page. We can see several that were sent were allowed. Some of them were blocked. And you can actually click in on each one to see the reason why it may have been blocked. And on the right-hand side, we'll also be shown some of the reasons why. So in this case here, this is an EI car test file. I would expect almost every single AV engine to catch it and consider it to be quote unquote malware. Likewise, we did have some sensitive data being shown as well. So in this case here, if you didn't want things of a particular record or nature to be sent, those could be put into a blocked nature as well to later be handled as you see fit. What we'll do now is we will come back into looking at our directories or our buckets themselves in AWS and I'll give a quick refresh and a quick refresh and here we go. So these correspond to what we saw previously in the dashboard or in the report and that is the DLP. It has certain information in there which need to be blocked, the EI car file which is malicious, some other DLP type situations with multiple OCR, and then PuTTY EXE happens to be a vulnerable application. Those files that aren't considered malicious, that scan good, are now inside of your scan good bucket. Along with that, you have your dashboard that will show you that information as well, such as your compliance violations, your security alerts, as well as your processing overview, and the last set of reports, and this being the one that we just currently ran. Hopefully this helps to show how OpSwat can effectively and easily move files from your local storage to the cloud while providing security of scanning and helping to keep the integrity of those files as you make that transition into the cloud infrastructure. Thank you and have a good day.